have a, we have a tour around with Palaz um, and an interview with the representative from the Emir. And just come with me as you have fun visiting the Palace of Kusu. <laughs> Please also forget to subscribe to my channel, like, and click on the notification bell, share with your friends, and drop a comment below. Thank you, sir, once again. Thank you. So, down to my interview questions. I have about nine questions to ten questions here, and I'll be glad if you can help me answer these ten questions. So, sir, the first question is that if you need to understand that um, the Emir is real father of Guso here, and it's like the head, which is the basic thing, which is the basic of every organization, every community, the MIA is going to first. So this first question is to ask, um, what the state is known for Zampa itself, what is it known for? And Guso, since it's the MIA of Guso, I would like to ask him that, what is the state known for, what is Zampa known for? What is it, what is it that are, like, is standing out for Zampa? Well, there are questions. If I understand your questions, you are talking about place of own. You are talking about Guso. Yes. Being Guso in the first state. Yes. Or you are talking about the entire Zampara. The entire Because when we talk about the entire Zampara, I have a limit. I cannot say anything about Zampara. Yes. But I know that I can give a little history on my own mm. about the para. But when you ask me about when you ask me about uh, about uh, Uso, then I will be able to answer you clearly because whatever the history is there and I ought to know what is Uso all about and uh, and the, how it was so we come into me so I can make it rather than to make it, to talk about the variety. First of all, I have thanked the Almighty Allah who spare our lives and show all this need to have these interactions with you. As far as Buso, Buso is concerned, Buso is a city. And also Buso is founded by one of the mm. Islamic scholar, Islam scholar of the Hadith under the umbrella of Usman bin Fodio. Shaykh Usman bin Fodio, the founder of the pioneer of jihadis. And Busso, it was founded by Mal and Sambal When we talk, it's founded by Mal and Sambal So during that region, then was, that is mean the rulership, the rulership are moving with the foundation of the town. You understand? Yes. Mountain of the time. 
So a notion will so it come into existence for over 200, almost 220 years, come into existence. And we saw it fall within the under the Sokoto, under the Sokoto, Kuma Sokoto, and then when it be created to become a state, that is mean the Mara, that is mean the head of water to be at Muso. Then what so kind? That's when you are talking about the history of Muso. The clear history of Muso and cannot be made of Sheikh Usman bin Fodi, the founder of Muso. I hope you understand. Yes, sir. So during the Sheikh Usman bin Fodi, then there is a peninsula that is means territory of called Kazina. Kingdom of Kazina. Then the Kingdom of Kazina was divided into two. We have Kazina Kili and we have a Kazina Sandi. The current Kazina Kili, that is the Busau city fall within. You understand? Yes. And also, when you want to talk about the history of Busau, cannot be done without the Given the history of what? Given the history of Endutu. City of Endutu is some kilometer now, it falls within this Akilo Kalam. That Endutu, more than somebody came from Endutu and come and founded this town called Usa. And Endutu city was among the city, 18 cities in the world. This, I'm telling you, this is a clear history during Prophet Noah. I think you, know, you have it in your Bible. Yes, so during the Prophet Noah, that is when the end of the city was there, was in existence. So therefore, whenever you talk about Uso, Uso is under the, it's under the founding father of Madan Sambada Ashaba an Islamic jihadist, an Islamic scholar, and it has so many things. It has a political expression, and it has an economic expression, and it has a what? And other things. Is that next? Yes, sir. Okay, when you talk about the Zambara, the entire that is means when the Bra state was created and come out from the Puma Sokoto state. Yes. The predominant people of the Bra they were farmers. You understand? Yes, sir. So actually, so that is why the the actual and a clear slogan is farming is our pride. Because whatever you what what kind any kind of food that can be produced in this state in Zambara. Okay. When you plant a cocoa, we we'll make it. Yes, if you any any other agricultural product, any any. So there is vast um, production of any agricultural any 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 agricultural thing. But sir, is there anyone that is peculiar to um Zambara? You know, in Ibadan, it's not for. The Coco House, mm. that's one thing that stands out of Ibadan. So, how do you know um, if it's granite that is. Zampara? Yes. We have a granite. Alright. We can cultivate granite, yes. maize, yes. guinea corn, yes. millet, yes. that is what you understand as sebum. Alright. You know that is a difference between millet and sebum. Yes. You understand? Yes, sir. Then we have a beans. Either the white beans or a soya beans. This two. Then we are making a sugar cane. Okay. You understand? Okay. Then we can make a fruit. We have a banana. We have an, uh, what do you call, boba. Yes. Isn't it? Yes, if an apple that is made, if we plant apple now, yes. it will make. So it can be said that Zambara is a fertile ground. And Zambara state, you understand? Yes, it's a rich state. 
is among the richest state. It's the most richest state in, the, in Nigeria. Chocolates of the area where they, they have oil, isn't it? Yeah. We have a gold. We have a precious stone. Okay. Gold, precious stone. Yeah. You understand? Yes. Uranium, isn't it? Yes, sir. We have everything mm. in respect of money. In, in regards to mineral resources, you just answered my question because I was, asked, I was about to ask what is the a predominant mineral resource that is found in Zampara State? But you just mentioned gold. Mm -hmm. Precious stone. Precious stone. Mm -hmm. But sir, I'd like to ask that is it in like mass production right now or is yet to be known mm -hmm. to the federal no. government? The federal government know about it. Yes, if you are a well so you will see that is where the uh, our present governor yes. he took a gold to the pillar and showed it to, to his uh, to his excellency yes, general muhammad buhari this is what we have found what we get what we have in the brand. i hope you understand me so if we can get a proper mining yes. and a logical mining yes. you understand you understand yes, Zam zambara will stand up will stand at his Yes. You understand? Yes. Uh -huh. That's so interesting. So I want our question to be based on only this. Alright, so mm -hmm. no problem about Every other question will be directed to Busso. So maybe not the dominant tribe and culture here in Busso. So Busso, yes. we have, yes. because we have a plan yes. in Busso, yes. and we have a very, very that is named Kanuri yes. in Busso. And we have Igbo in Buso. Yeah. We have Yoruba in Buso. Mm. You understand? Yes. Sir. We have different tribes in Buso. Mm. You understand? Yes, sir. But the predominant people house the plan in Buso. Yes. That's the predominant people. And the predominant people. This is diversity, right? Sir? Yes. That's, that's so I also would like to ask that aside Eid, which is the Islamic festival, mm -hmm. is there any other festival that the people of Buso celebrate? And when what you know, I like to know which one the So you see, there are so many festivals. Yes, For instance, there is after Sala festival, yes, Eid in Fitr or Eid in Kabir, that is the small teller and big seller. Yes, that is where we are. The small seller that is after the fasting, yes. then the big seller that is mean after after the sacrifice, the, that is the, the seller for sacrifice festival for the sacrifice yes. of the rams and everything. You understand? Yes. Then there is another festival that is in celebrations. There are some other traditions, uh, there are some other people they are celebrating. Mm. That is mean the the birth of the prophet Muhammad, that is our prophet. That is called Maulid. Maulid. Mm. Um, I was going to ask, like, maybe there is a predominant um, festival that doesn't have to do with um, Eid at uh, 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 religion? Yes. So actually, we don't have that taboo. You understand? Yes. We don't have that one. Because at northern part yes. of the country, religion first before anything. We know that it, unlike other like southwest yes. and south south and southeast, that is mean the tradition first before religion. Yes. But we yes. northern part of the country, yes. religion first before any tradition. Oh, the first before tradition. Let's oh. ask that how old is the Buso Emirates? That is when I told you over 220 years in existence. Uh -huh. mm. so I already answered my question and you asked the mineral resources. And so I also answered because there is actually a fact or let me say a myth that Zamfara is more of or in the context, there are like more of Fulani than Alsa people. I like to so maybe either justify that it's true or no, or probably they are in a part of What I say, Hausa Fulani, yes, that is means Hausa and Fulani, yes. that is a, a 
we may find that uh, somebody is house but his wife is polite. Or a person is house polite but his wife is house That is intermarriage. You understand? House of blood. Normally, whenever that that is a set of one religion in the area, normally you will find that. But you may find it does not mean that to stop others, Hausa, from my or from my any tribe. You understand? Like I have a brother who married a Yoruba. They have their children. You understand? Um, in Guso or in Zamfara generally, is there anything that can make Zamfara a tourist destination that can attract tourists and um, yes. people that want to, like a tourist attraction? Yes, yes, Zamfara, it has. It has so many places. If Zamfara so wish they can make it to be as a tourist. We have Akaleli. That is where there is uh, mammals, animals, you understand? Yeah. You may see them and you see a, 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 a two different water. One cannot go inside, another one lack, lack what we have in the confluence. Isn't it? Yeah. In Kogi, yeah. that is where there is a confluence. That is a different water, isn't it? Yeah. So we have, the, we have it in the forest. But that's where... And we have so many mountains like Kotelkoshi. Yeah. There is a mountain. Isn't it there is a canoe, there is a mountain, and so many places that is why there is a mountain. If, if the government so wish, then they can make it as a tourist place. Oh, that's interesting. That's interesting. Sir, um, on my last question, or oh, the second to the last question, mm -hmm. sir, so I'd like to ask what's the future of the amusement park here in Kusu? Mm -hmm. The future? Yes. Because I feel like um, it's really not so acute like that in that regard. So we don't know if there's something the state government is doing towards. Uh, don't ask me such question because I am not visiting the place, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> yes, sir. And I have never interacted with any other per person talking about that we saw amusement, isn't it? Yes. But I know that whenever the state government want to make it yes. to be confounded yes. amusement. Then the Zamfara State Government can make it, this governor can make it. Isn't it? Yes, yes. We, we have so many animals. So they can bring it. And they can expand it. Isn't it? Yes, sir. Thanks so much for your time. So then, may I have the permission of the Royal Highness to make videos and pictures around the palace? I can tour around the palace. So, what I'm what I'm saying? What I'm seeing, I think I will direct one person to show you the yes. scenario features yes. of the Emirates. Yes. That is okay. Right. Thank you. Isn't it? Yes, I'm really grateful for my time Thanks for watching my channel. Love you guys.